Hola, hola familia, Nessa Snow here and welcome back to my channel. So let's talk about how much this virus has effed up my life. Abella eyewear, by the way. Their sunglasses are awesome. So I'm just getting to the point where I don't understand how people can be so selfish. These stores are not closing. They're not closing. They know that people are hungry. They know people need to be fed. They know people need, we have basic needs and everybody knows that like not, a, yes, people are dying. Yes, it's scary. Yes, you need to stay home. Yes, you need to try and social distance and stay clean and don't touch your face. However, you do not need to stock up on everything. Like we're just not gonna, everything closed. I just know that the fact is that it's getting on my nerves because I don't have the time, patience, and money to stock up like some of these people are stocking up on toilet paper, uh, meats, dog food. Are you freaking kidding me? Dog food. So PetSmart is being super awesome. Are you hot, baby? Let me open my window for a little bit. PetSmart is doing this thing now where they have curbside pickup. I don't know if that's always been a thing and it's just free now or exactly what the dealio is on that. However, they are doing this awesome thing where you go online, you get 10% off and you just click pick up at the store and all you have to do is call them when you get there pop your pop your trunk and they put everything in your trunk now that's super awesome but that brings us to another problem my phone I have always had tiny little issues here and there with my phone I've always had tiny little issues here and there with the Wi-Fi now that people are home and either working from home and having to use Wi-Fi and service or they're just home and bored so they're using Wi-Fi and service. It has caused so many issues. I can't use anything internet. I can't use anything social media because it either just loads and loads and loads or it just plain doesn't work and crashes. And it is so annoying. I swear I've never had so many issues as I have had since this social distancing, staying home thing that everyone's doing. I know it's not anyone's fault and maybe these phone services, like there's just really nothing they can do about making the service better. But honestly, like, we can put people on the moon. We can breathe where there is no oxygen because we have made it, we've made technology to the point where we can build things like that. But you're telling me that you can't figure out how to make a device work here on earth, but we could talk to people on the moon. Blue is dying in this hot car. I'm going to turn my phone. My another thing like mother earth can you just calm down you either want it cold or you want it hot you can't have both and it's so crazy because like one of the things that pe the scientists were saying was oh um eventually the virus won't be able to survive because it can't survive in the heat and everyone in the south is like great we got this. It's hot 10 months out of the year. We've got this. No biggie. Tell me how we're already in April and it's cold. You never know what you're going to wake up to. And then, you know, the new with the virus, like the news is constantly changing. 
they're constantly moving back like how long this is going to be a big deal but people are getting better and that is something though those numbers keep going up that people are getting better they are getting over this and that that's a good thing and um that's exciting and it helps i think to know that okay like we can get through this we can get better like it's not a terminal disease it's definitely something that you can get better from so that's helpful as far as like anxiety and feeling better about how the world is going right now and then just the whole issue like I'm so upset so I've completely run out of Blue's food others that I, I guess have the time means to get these necessities are overstocking and it's just selfish like I hope that the people doing this like feel good about themselves like Blue's not gonna be going hungry he's not gonna go hungry anytime soon however it is frustrating to go online and see that everything is out of stock I mean it's just it's not that necessary people like just it's just so selfish I don't understand the meaning of all of this but I don't know I just do I have a reason to be angry at this point I feel like I do or maybe I'm just being a brat I guess at least I get to run errands in a way today. It is like one thing that I like to do. It's the one thing that Blue gets to do outside of the house. Like he is cooped up in the house 24 seven, seven days a week. And he gets to sniff things and he's usually pretty good. I, my argument is, is that he does better when it's just me and him than Dennis coming with us. Because I swear he just likes to test Dennis's patience. And I think my thought of that, and it's funny because in my 12-hour drive to Texas, listening to music, just with my own thoughts, just me and Blue, a thought or a light bulb went off on why Blue tends to act up in certain situations when Dennis comes along with us. But I was like, oh my gosh, what if... It's like human children that act out because they want love. Like children, when they have either been abandoned or mistreated, or like when parents aren't home a lot, they, 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 um, they start acting bad in scenarios like going at school or or with their friends or stuff they start to act bad where am i supposed to go pick up i think i'm on the wrong side pet smart and our grooming salon remain open you're welcome all right Bye. well that was easy but the hard part is is actually pulling up to the door because they're really busy and I, I can't parallel park. I can't park, like, in general. I, like, no, I can't do it. And this requires parallel parking in a way. And this requires being able to drive, which I can't do at all. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to do this. I should have brought Dennis. He should be driving right now. I should not be driving right now. These situations make me nervous and I have panic attacks. I swear I have the biggest, if I'm gonna, I have panic attacks, but I would say the biggest panic attacks I have to date is in my car, driving, trying to drive because I can't, I'm not very good at it. Okay, it looks like this guy isn't parked. He was just waiting for his wife. Okay. Okay, so maybe I'm going to be able to kind of... Okay. All right. There are a lot of people going inside the store, which I, you know, do you. 
um, wear a mask, wash your hands. Anyway, so I was trying to decide why Blue acts the way he acts when Dennis is around. And I was thinking how kids tend to also act out when their parent they've either been mistreated or abandoned. And Blue has had both he by men. And so it makes sense that towards a man, he would act out for love because he's like, men have mistreated me all my life and all I want is to be accepted and treated well by a male. So it's just, it's kind of sad. And I, try, I was like, Dennis, like, this is the issue. This is what it is. He's like, no, he's just, he just needs more training and you need to stop treating him like a baby. Snow. When did you order it? Um, thir 30 minutes to an hour ago. I got, it was $60. Did you get a confirmation email saying it was ready I for did. Pickup? I, oh, I got a confirmation number. So. That's really weird because it does, it tells you, if, when you get a confirmation mm -hmm. email, it tells you it can take uh, one and a half to two hours for it to come through. Yeah, I didn't even ask email. me any of that information at all. It like, it asked me for my first and last name I and my phone number. Because there's so many people doing yeah, I couldn't get onto your website forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just come tomorrow. I mean, I don't know if you want to come in, but you can, you can rebuy it here. We can cancel your order when it comes through. Um, it already charged my account, but. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can still pick it for you. I mean, okay. you can just get some other, if you want some else or. Okay. A few minutes. It should pop through soon. I wouldn't think mm -hmm. it'd be too much longer. Okay. Maybe while you're walking around a minute, it'll pop through. We can go ahead and pick it for you. Okay. Okay. That didn't go well. Ugh. And blue is hot. Oh, you can get puppy, puppy. Someone just got a bath. Oh, a little blue. I want a puppy so bad. So bad. Oh, no, don't park in front of me. Like, you don't understand how bad I don't know how to drive. I have such bad driving anxiety. Is that a thing to like have driving anxiety? Does that exist? Okay. I don't know what to do because I don't have a mask. I don't have gloves. They're saying that you have to be like super careful. I have really bad asthma. I really, ugh, I don't know what I should do. Blue is like literally running out of food though. Does anyone else call their mom for advice? about everything, no matter how insignificant. Hello. Hey. Hi. Um, I can't, I need your advice. I made, I'm trying this thing that they're doing at PetSmart where it's curbside assistance and it's free uh -huh. because, you know, they, they're trying to keep people safe, try to keep people from getting sick. And so I went on to PetSmart. I thought I followed all the rules. It never asked me for my email. It just asked me for my phone number. And I paid with PayPal, which means it automatically got taken out of my account. It's like, it's already yeah. out, you know, the money's gone. Um, yeah. So now I'm here at PetSmart and they're like, oh, you should have gotten an email saying that it takes two hours for it to come through the system because so many people are using the website so it's causing the website to work really slowly and they can't find me and they're like oh we'll just come in and like buy what you need to buy and then we'll cancel your your request and I'm like uh I you can't cancel it it's already charged my account he was like oh wow like it already charged you and I was like yeah, because I buy it so that I could pick it up curbside. Like, it just makes sense that it would, I already paid for it, right? So, they're telling me to go inside, but, like, mm -hmm. Blue is, like, out of food. He might have enough for tonight, maybe. Like, he's out of food. Should I just feed him rice tonight and try again tomorrow or possibly endanger myself by going inside because they're busy right now there is more than 10 people in that store 
Oh, about to ask how many people are in there. Yeah, they don't have a rule right now about how many... Like, they don't have a line outside, because even that's stupid to have a line, because then everyone's in a line, and you're next to each other in a line. So, they're not doing that, thank goodness. But that just means that everybody is inside right now. I just, I don't know. I don't... And I've already been charged $60 to my account. Do I really want to spend another, like... I could get him a small bag and pay like maybe fifteen dollars, yeah. but do I really yeah. want to pay another fifteen? And if I walk in and they don't carry his food, let me tell you, when I went online, it was bare. They're like out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I had to get him senior food. I've never gotten this dog senior food before, but it's the same brand though, so he should be fine. You know, I call you about everything. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm only, I'm only, ooh, what? Toilet paper, so. Oh. <laughs> Don't drop that toilet paper, it's gold! <laughs> gold. Yep. I'm going to be so frustrated if I walk in and they don't have any food for him. Yeah. Because I'm going to be like, what yeah. was the point in walking in here and dealing with people? <laughs> And then he was like, well, maybe while you walk around the store, it'll be re ready. And I'm like, the point of me getting curbside is because I can't, I didn't bring Dennis with me and I cannot carry that bag. It's 40 pounds. No. And like, even if I could do it, like carry it on my own, because I mean, I am, I'm not strong, but I'm not weak either. So I could probably carry it to my car, but not with blue. Yeah. Not with blue pulling on me. Mm-hmm. Oh, because I don't get off of work until 3 tomorrow, so he needs morning food. Yeah. Oh, okay. You've convinced me. <laughs> okay. I'm so upset right now. Here I... I know. I'm glad I answered my own question. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm just so upset. Like, because I thought this was so cool. I'm like, oh, I want to try curbside. That's awesome. They're going to put everything in the car for me. Oh, I guess boy. I guess it'll make Blue happy to do something. Why is this lady looking at me? I guess because she sees me recording with my phone, but I'm not recording her. Oh. <sighs> she, like, took a double take. Like, she looked at me, and she was like, what? Is, like, she had this, like, look on her face, like, what are you doing? And then she kept walking, and then she turned around and looked at me again. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. I'm so frustrated, but I'm going to go inside. Woo! Jesus. That, my friend, was a whole process. They, I don't know, like they were confused and then they were able to find it, but they couldn't find it when I was in the car and I bought an eight pound bag or eight, I'm sorry, three pound bag for $8 to find out that they did have stock. They have everything that I need. Why it says online that they don't have anything, I don't know, but they clearly did. And once I got the $8 bag, like, I know it's ridiculous. Other people are like, oh, it's just, you just, with tax, it was like $9.33. Well, when you already spent 60, $68, you don't want to spend another nine. Like, I just, I had already spent money. I had already put it so that I, I'm just, ooh, it was a whole process. But we're done. Our hands are dirty because we have exited the car. Our car is dirty now because we exited the car and went in the car without hand sanitizer. So it's just a whole process that I don't want to do again. And blue is hot because the car is hot again and it was hot in the store so we still gotta pee don't we blue 
We should gotta go potty, huh? Hey, I gotta go potty. And I had to go through all kinds of stuff. My people with their dirty hands were touching me. Sight though. Oh, this policeman is chasing someone down. Let me tell you, being essential is not fun. I've got to hurry up and walk blue, feed blue, water blue, and be out the house in an hour. Because me and my essential ass has to get to work. I'm going to put some music on for a little bit and relax and enjoy myself and turn my air conditioner way up because this fool is freaking out back there. So excuse me. Oh, the relief. Finally get to go to the bathroom. so let's just discuss how tired I am at this point after all of this I have been seeing a product on Instagram yeah let's just not talk about how sad my phone case is right now let's move on there's an Instagram product that I have been seeing a lot and I think I've seen it on Facebook I've also seen it on Pinterest and I don't know, I'm probably being stupid by trusting that this product is works, but your girl is hurting for some new nails. I usually get them redone every two weeks. It's uh, just the, the overlay because literally my nails will split down the middle and it is extremely painful and there's nothing that you can do. My nails are just really weak and then the water here is so rough and so with all like the washing of hands and washing dishes and taking a shower and washing blue and uh, it just all. So I saw this product online. I'm willing to try anything at this point and we don't know how long quarantine is going to happen. And honestly, the last thing I want to do after quarantine is quickly go and do stuff because everyone's going to do that. And you know, Things don't just get clean. Like it's gonna be a while till everything is normal and the virus is actually gone, gone. And But I have a feeling that people are just gonna be like, oh, quarantine's over, let's go crazy. Let's go get my nails done and my hair done and let's go to bars and everywhere where we really shouldn't go. I'm interested in seeing if Amazon sells it. And then I'm just gonna go on Google and type in poly gel nail kit. The thing is, is I'm really not willing to pay over $20 for this product because I don't know if it works. From watching the video, You don't need a lamp. Only take some steps. Put the glue on. Spread evenly. Apply and all done. Hmm. <clears throat> the ones I'm seeing on Amazon aren't, aren't exactly the one I saw on Instagram. Ooh, this one's $60. Ooh. All right, this is the one I'm gonna get because I don't know what else to do. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get, but I'm definitely gonna get one of these poly gel nail stuff. Um, I'm a little confused as to what all the other one brings. So I'm just gonna make sure that it brings like everything that it's supposed to bring before I buy something. I'm not quite sure I want the UV light yet. I was kind of thinking about getting that too. I've always wanted a UV light even just for painting my nails. I just, I love the fact that 
you can just sit under a uh, UV light for a little bit and it dries your nails really quick and you don't have to worry about m messing your nails up. So I am c pretty interested in that anyway. So maybe I'll just get this whole system and um, we won't have to even worry about all this. Like, cause with this one, it looks like the, the top coat needs a UV light or maybe even the base coat, I'm not really sure. But um, maybe I'll even try that and get the UV light. Just really not sure yet. But I'm definitely going to look into it and really research it before I fully buy it. And hopefully I will have something by next week. And I will do a video showing exactly what I got and if how to do it and if it even worked out. Kind of like the does this thing really work from Graveyard Girl, which she is so awesome. I wonder if she has a poly gel now. I'm going to have to look because if she's tried it, I definitely would trust anything that she has tried and approved so i might have to look into seeing if she's tried any of these and, or maybe even uh send her some comments on her videos and be like can you try this um but i definitely want to get something within the ne this coming week because what i have right now is just it's not gonna last much longer and i need i need to definitely i've already lost two nails and i i'm sure i'm bound to eventually lose these as well as i continue to file them down and make them look presentable well it's been another week of craziness and i hope that y'all are staying healthy and happy and really just telling all the your friends and family how much you really love them because you just never know when you might see people again or if you'll never see them again it's very important to just remind the people that you love that you love them and that you're there for them even if that means talking to them over the phone or over skype or there's so many companies that are just really making this happen for everyone and making sure that everyone can stay home and still stay connected hello hello what's up hey, I'm sweet dennis is running errands for me too i got tired so <laughs> But, like always, gracias familia por todo su soporto. No te haces necio y lava sus manos. Gracias. Chao.